Hello guys and welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and... Well, we walked around a bit, we talked to Von Karma about the fate of Edgeworth. Uh, Von Karma doesn't believe that Edgeworth is dead, Phoenix is a bit more vague on his stance. Whoops, I hit my microphone. Uh, and also Regina sent us on a fetch quest that we could not refuse, so... So in this episode, we're going to go ahead and probably move on with that. But first of all, we have a couple things we should present. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It, it was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed it was there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take out Crow's breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Hmm. Huh. So it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this? That's Pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Huh? It's from the cafeteria? It's not? I remember seeing it there. Huh. So this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of pepper. Nothing more on that? Alright, let's move around, I guess. So this part, as mentioned before, is a bit fetch, fetch questy. It kind of reminds me of uh, case three of the first game where we were just kind of moving back and forth between places trying to find something. Anyways, we were looking for a costume, so first place we should probably head is a place with a lot of costumes. Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? What's that? I hear something. S stop it, Nick! You're scaring me! Nick! It's money! That monkey's gotten his hands on something again. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on, on this monkey. Attorney style. I feel like there's only one option we can pick. Yikes! Wah! I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, what's that? I swept it while money was distracted. Really? You're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try in Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Hmm. What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well. I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Alright, so now we've got the item. Let's head all the way back. I apologize for not having better commentary for these sections. It's just kind of hard to say anything because we don't really have much time in between sections. Like, it's long enough to be obnoxious to move through places, but it's not long enough to where I can actually get any interesting or insightful commentary in. Anyways, here's your costume. Here you go, Regina. Yay! Thank you! You really got it back for me! Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. It's... nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Ugh. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but it's just so weird how gross they are towards Regina. Especially since, again, she's 16. Hey, Regina. 
The costume is yours, right? Tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Can we get some more info on that? Yes, we can. Leon. He was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth, you know? God. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when it did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. R Regina! Everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That, was that was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. So now that we have more information on Leon and everything that went down there, we can actually head back to Mo over in the cafeteria. Thankfully, it's not too far of a walk away. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Bistro du Cirque, a.k.a. the cafeteria. Hmm. It smells so good in here. Those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juice of meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They're absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by the smell. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. These burgers must have some kind of special power. So we can actually uh, talk to Mo here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, not that. I already saw what you witnessed or heard of what you witnessed. Very big circus. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about these past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard of Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but when the murder happened, he was livid. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyway, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to become a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. <laughs> Max? He might be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo. All that's left is to see if everyone would get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy. You know. What is he talking about? Get over it. Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. It must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang, dang, dang. Correct the mundo. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo. I mean no disrespect here, but... Are you lying to us? Ugh! No, not at all! What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone get over it seemed a bit strange. It seemed like you were talking about something from a long time ago. Eek, 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 eek! Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Hmm, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? So this is actually a psyche lock we can break at the moment.
Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. When the world went on at the circus. Okay, okay, there's no reason to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there, some juice of burgers. Let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh, actually, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident, right? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? Uh, not in here, it's... There we go. Heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a performance, right? What? I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing dangerous performances like that. But in their head inside of Leon's mouth was part of an act? But Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He could never say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well... Um... I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved with this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person that you promised wouldn't say anything? Well, who do we know that's been in an accident recently? Must have been Acro, right? How, how'd you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No, no way! I need to know about the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. It's just like you said. You know, that accident. Did someone die? Nobody. Would have probably been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive, but when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lay in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. But brother and They were an acrobat team of brothers. Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling, but everyone always called him Bat. Fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why'd he do that? I don't know. But well, that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When a bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way! That's impossible! Smirking lion. A flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick? Can lions smile? Um... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious, what was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self.
Uh, 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 <laughs> nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana. That's a basic clownmanship. Girly, I know you gotta you understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does! Bat would always tease her with pepper. Bat? From my point of view, those two always look so peaceful or perfect together. Just for the sake of curiosity. Uh, okay. Look perfect together, huh? Let's get out of here. All we have left, really, is to head back to Acro's room and see if we can try to break his locks. Ah, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say, I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well. It seems that you've got things you want to talk about. So, fire away. Do you have anything, any talk options? Nope. All we have left is the Psyche Lock. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes. Unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real case, you'd have no reason to keep it a secret. Acro, are you really telling me that the practice accident was the cause of your injury? Because... The real injury most likely comes, I looked at the profiles again, from that. Lay on. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track. Just need to keep going. You're saying I was attacked by a lion. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If the lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. I'm not sure if attack is the best word to be using. You must have battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. Anyway, they were an incredible team. Cut down at the same time. Cut down at the same time. That was where he slipped. And that's how I figured it out. You two ended up wrapped up in the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's psyche lock. It must have an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe something you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. Uh, Regina. You always seem calm and collected and st until you start talking about her. Saying things like she's cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. 
got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack, Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina is incapable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Shit, I presented the wrong thing. Acro? You know, I think I hate you more than I ever hated her. Huh? How could you... How could what you just showed me possibly prove that I hate Regina? Uh, looks like I picked the wrong piece of evidence. But there's still gotta be something that works. I know it. Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. The actual thing that we're looking for is the note. Hopefully my health bar will be filled back up. This. Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Huh, I guess I noticed it was there around breakfast time. I always take Acro's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. There we go, filled all the way back up. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane! Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And age brought with it a countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out. To the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon jumped down, I jumped toward him. Then Leon attacked me. And that's how I ended up. What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. That's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah. I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. What? When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, I said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Von Karma? I've already heard everything. So hand over the scarf. The scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served as summons on Acro to appear in court tomorrow as the witness. Acro, we'll talk more tomorrow at the prosecutor's office. Acro? 
A witness? Come, Acro. Let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you, all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now.